Hello, I uh, thought I'd take a minute here to show you how a double clutch counter shaft works. And it's something I'd have been, I'd been curious about for some time because while I've seen them, I've never gotten my hands on one and to be able to take it apart and kind of see how all that goes together. So basically you have your pulleys and these are for all intents and purposes idler pulleys. You see the inside rim here is machined We're very close to all ours with this ring. And this ring is a one-piece casting. All right. And it's been split. And if you could see in there, there's this little cam. And that will spread this ring out inside. And that's how the clutch works. You have your clutch cone here, which uh, I'm not sure if that's the correct name, but that's the name we're going to use. And it's controlled by your uh, shifting fork or yoke that rides in here. And the end of that's connected to your shipper rod, so named because it ships things back and forth. So, as it stands, it's in neutral. And if I was to take this and slide it over, now it's engaged this pulley here. So, on a lathe, one of these will be your cross belt for reverse, and the other one will be your straight belt for everything else. Remarkably simple mechanism, actually. Not really a whole lot to go wrong with it. And this is in good shape, so just a little bit of cleaning up, get the dust off of it, polish the pulleys a little bit, and it can go up in the ceiling. But anyhow, I, yeah, I just thought I'd take a moment to show you how all that went together. Uh, you know, there's other mechanisms for stopping and starting things when you're talking about line shaft uh, and probably the most common is uh, to have tight and loose pulleys if you look back here this pulley is loose on the shaft and that pulley back there is whoop, knocked a empty coke bottle over <laughs> but anyways and that other pulley is fixed to the shaft so uh, you have a shipper rod down here, and it has forks that come up on either side of the belt and shift the belt from one pulley to another. <clears throat> I have not fabricated new shifting forks. They went missing from this drill some time ago. Uh, it's on the list of things to do, so I'll get it done eventually. <clears throat> Anyhow, I hope you've... Uh, enjoyed this little short video and that it's offered you a little bit of insight as to how exactly these things go together and uh, I'll see you in the next edition here so if you like these videos please do like them uh, if you have any comments or questions you know where to put them put them in the comments section and if you'd like to see more please do subscribe uh, Got lots more, lots more videos to make. Also, I don't want to hear anybody berating me for having this set on, uh, on my lathe ways right now. These ways are already pretty dinged up in places, and I was very careful to set this down gently, so that uh, nothing got messed up. Have a wonderful day, and thanks for watching. Well, I was reviewing the other clip, but I thought I uh, wanted to help make this just a little bit more clear. So, this is a diagram out of the South Bend book, and you see our counter shaft. And those are our two pulleys there, our, uh, and clutches. You see one belt is twisted, so it crosses. So they both run in opposite directions. And this also gives your recommended line shaft speed, 250 RPM. Your 
shifting lever, your shipper rod. So, hope that clarifies things up a little bit. Uh, of course, some of you out there may be, oh, well, yeah, of course, that's obvious. Of course, that's how a line shaft works. You know, I've been doing this for years. But I don't know who may be watching these videos. Uh, maybe somebody that's just trying to learn about this stuff. Or maybe somebody else is just kind of bored. And <laughs> Who knows? But anyways, I just wanted to make that as clear as possible. Uh, you will see this in action in a future video. And probably a few future videos. So I've got to finish getting it cleaned up. I've got to get the light up there moved. And get it mounted up. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Uh, as you can see, I got the counter shaft mounted up and cleaned up good. Uh, so I cleaned the shipper rod off and a couple little nooks and crannies. But uh, I just stuck it in there to get it out of the way. Uh, everything's real secure. So... As you can see, I moved the light over there just because it was easier than totally taking it down. So, yeah, let me tell you, that was a bit of work. That thing is pretty damn heavy. Uh, and the best way to get this up is get your board all fitted up and ready to go up, and so you know it's going to fit up there. Uh, and that's what I did. Then I went ahead and uh, brought it down, figured out where on the board I needed to mount that. I needed to mount the hangers, I mounted the hangers. And then I put this up here and got it all bolted in and screwed in. And from there, I went ahead and uh, hoisted the counter shaft up uh, <laughs> with my own two bare hands and dropped it in the hooks uh, you don't want to slip the bearings on first and then bring it up because if you try to do that one's going to probably fall off the end that almost happened to me it was just hanging on by hair so what I ended up doing is I took it and I set the shafting up in there without the bearings and then I came back one by one I brought the bearings I slipped the bearings in from the side and got everything secured and uh, that worked out pretty good so, yeah, one down, one to go. See, I already started taking the line shaft apart. Uh, got the bearings soaking in a solvent bath. Uh, looking at the shaft, and it looks dirty, but it's not too scored up. So I think those bearings were probably just way out of adjustment. And I think that I can go ahead and adjust them so that they work properly again. Uh, and from there everything's just it's a it's a clean up matter I'll probably probably smooth these pulleys out a little bit or, or possibly even fabricate some new ones I haven't decided yet uh, gonna run I think a couple of four by fours across here from that beam which is resting on these beams all these beams up here tie together which is really nice <clears throat> and uh, then that's gonna be where I mount the line shaft right there uh, and as for the motor well I'm not exactly sure yet to exactly how I want to mount the motor up you know um, I can't hang it upside down because it's got uh, oil oil cups in it that need to be kept filled so it's gonna have to sit up on top uh, so what I may do is I may sit it on top of the line shaft directly above it but kind of want to go more to the side 
Uh, I gotta get this fouted up first, and then I can I can figure that I can figure the rest of that out, you know. <laughs> so, anyhow, there she is. <laughs>